On this snow day, a group is coming together to help dig others out. Early this morning, the snow angels were in Denver clearing the sidewalks of people who needed help. Our Michael Abeda met up with them, busy shoveling at 8 o'clock this morning, and Michael is live in Denver. Michael? Yeah, Kathy, if you haven't shoveled your walkway, you might want to get on that because there's actually a fine if you don't clear it. But there are some people who just can't shovel snow. Well, for those people, luckily, there's a community organization giving a helping hand. On a snowy day like Sunday, almost everyone has to get out and shovel a little snow. But Jay Salas and his group of volunteers. Today we'll probably do about four or five walks just with a couple of us. They're part of Denver's Snow Angels program. It's put together by Denver Human Rights and Community Partnerships and neighborhood volunteers. Every time it snows, volunteers in each of Denver's neighborhoods go out and shovel for their neighbors who can't. So it's a really informal uh, neighbors, healthy neighbors. Jay works the Northeast neighborhoods like Clayton, Cole, and Park Hill. He says between him and about 30 others, they get a lot done. We could do anywhere from, you know, 60 to 100 maybe in a day with all of the people out shoveling. And even though it's a lot of hard work. Didn't have to hit the gym this morning. Jay says it's all about getting to know his neighbors and doing something positive for his community. Even when the temperatures are in the single digits. After you get moving, it uh, warms up. So, And I think, you know, just helping people and being able to, to be an active part of your community warms your heart and so uh, warms the whole body. Now, there are other cities in the metro area that have similar programs. Aurora has one and Westminster has one, as well as the Volunteers of America who also help shovel snow on snowy days like this for people who can't. If you'd like more information about those programs, head to cbsdenver.com. We'll have the information there. In Denver, Michael Aveta, covering Colorado First.